Oh, what is up everybody? Mr. Red Builder here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this two-way super compact flush trap door. I really like this design, and uh, I hope you do too. So without further ado, oh, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is dig a 4 by 3 by 7 hole in the area that you would like to put this, and a boop, we already have that. And this block is going to be right where your door pops up, so I'm just going to put a block there, and you can see how everything goes together. You could also mirror the design to uh, put it over here, but now let's get started on how to build this. First up, you're going to place two solid blocks of your choice and a sticky piston facing upwards with a slime block on it. And then you're going to place a piece of redstone dust, a repeater set to four ticks, and then you're going to place obsidian in a plus shape around this slime block, and then redstone dust on top of these two blocks. Next, you're going to place a solid block above this redstone dust, and this is going to be where you're putting your input, and this mechanism is what's launching you upwards. Next, all you have to do is place a redstone torch on the side here with a block and then a two tick repeater facing into this wall, facing into another block here with a torch and one more block on top. And then you need two sticky pistons facing in, one facing up, and then this is going to be your ground block here. So I'm just going to fill this in with some mangrove, uh, just because I think it looks nice. So as you can see here, the entire thing is completely flush with the ground, so these blocks can be absolutely whatever you want, even glass, although I'm not sure why you'd do that. And then we can take a look down at the bottom in here. And with a little movie magic, we are now down in the bottom, and this block is again where you're going to be putting your input. Buttons work fine, um, observer pulses are not going to be long enough, so you will need a pulse extender in there. So uh, let's go ahead and build that. So here I've just built a super simple redstone torch key, and uh, if we manage to get our timing right, we'll be able to jump down here and into our bunker or whatever you choose to put down here. So I've just connected this redstone torch key to a super simple pulse extender back here. And while this redstone may not be pretty, it is completely functional. So you can do whatever you want, whether that be a button that's just, you know, hidden, or this redstone torch key to a combination lock, whatever you want to do, the possibilities are nearly endless. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, go ahead and uh, leave a like below, and if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button. It really helps me out a ton, and I'd appreciate it. See you in the next one, bye!